Hi there, it's uh, Gavin from Mark Fiddle Work Machinery. Just wanted to do a video of this stock Martin T70 sliding table saw we have. Um, we've had a few questions asking about different models, 65, 70, what do you get, what don't you get? Uh, so I'm gonna start the video, and uh, where I don't normally like to start videos, I don't normally like to talk about the machines. I'm gonna talk about the price because we always get asked that. How much is it? Well, this particular machine is list priced at 35,600 um, and there's a reason why there's certain features on there. They start off at around about 23,000, but you're gonna get only an 850. You're not gonna get a scribe. You're not gonna get this mitre crosscut table um, or digital readouts. So you get quite a, a basic uh, crosscut fence. Um, and yeah, so this machine here, the reason we've got this one prior, this, the reason this is priced where it is, is because it's got the following options on it. It's got a um, 3.3 sliding table, standard is three. It's got 1350 on the rip capacity, standard is any 800. Uh, we've got a mitre crosscut table. This is the parallelogram. This is um, a nice feature we've got on there and digital readouts. We've got, and I'll hopefully be able to show you all this in the video. We've got uh, LED safe light, three axis scriber, um, a radio compens, which is something very cool. Um, yeah, so yeah, we've got a few, quite a few features on here as well. Um, I think that's most of the things covered on that one. Okay, it, when it's got the inverter as well, I don't know if I mentioned that, it's got the inverting driven motor, which means there's no need to change speeds over when you come into here. It's uh, ordered via the inverter and you can program and set a blade according to diameter because this machine, let's go through some of the things it can do. You can remove the scribe aggregate very quickly um, and you can put a 550 blade on which will give you 104 mil depth at 90. So that's a, that's a, you know, a big depth of cut. It's not just for solid wood. It could be for a component, an upstand, um, some cladding sometimes people want to do cuts on there. So yeah, this is it's it's you know, wherever you want to take it really having a an angle and a and a big blade like that so yeah this one here has got the 3.3 um, all the martin machines are the same they have a replaceable strip here uh, which can be replaced if ever you guys have done it before and where you just ding the blade into here when you're trying to square your sheets up or your panels or whatever else you cut in so that you can lock this machine anywhere along the length which is fantastic um, this has got the mitre crosscut table parallelogram also known as so you can see this here this is really is a thing of beauty it's so well engineered i don't know if you can sort of really get the this is part of the thing we try and understand get you know understand the build quality on these machines um you know things are just finished at such a high level um uh, which you know i guess you know what you'd expect really but uh you know, i don't know if you can sort of pick up on this on the video but yeah they are really well built well put together machines uh, you see on here as well this is where we've got a telescopic arm you see this two pieces here again this is one of martin's uh, sort of patents they've got this where you don't have to have an extra sort of angled piece coming out the back here um so that's something like you can see it now look. okay so that's plus or minus 46 degrees um with, with a fine adjustment there you've got for the readout and radio compens what that is it's basically these control units let's put it back to zero if i can uh, these control units just bear with me i'm doing everything with one hand so uh try and make it look as smooth as possible um so this radio compens is basically compensates for the distance from the stops to the saw blade uh you can interact with it by telling it different material thickness but if i just leave it on this simple stop for now we're at a meter here and we are one meter from this blade over there and that's what you're gonna be interested in for your measurements. Um, when we angle, the distance from here to here will change. So normally on a standard machine, you'll have a standard Martin machine, uh, such as the T60C, T65, you've got compensation software in there, which you just type in your measurements. Let's say we're at um, 30 degree, what's a meter gonna read at 30 degree? And it'll tell you, you don't have to worry about it with the radio compens. In radio compens, I'll show you this, as I move this table round, Okay, see the angle moving? You'll also notice the measurement is changing as well. It's compensating automatically. So what that means is that the operator's reading the exact values at all time. Okay. 
So if I just come back to zero, I've not moved the stop. Okay, and I expect to see that back at a meter, yep. And that's at zero. So radio compens. Um, the rip fence, the rip fence is also, in my opinion, the best rip fence on the market. The reason being, look at this. Um, let's just bring it in manually and I'll show you what I mean. It's just, this thing here, it's so smooth. Uh, this is all running on, um, you know, bearings, it glides up and down. You have the ability to move it manually, which is, I think it's a really good idea. So if you see on here, there's a clamp here. So if you want to move the machine, move it out of the way, we can do. Instead of having to go in and key. I mean, of course we can key in whatever we like. See if we can get this for you. So I can key in this measurement here, 600 mil, enter that. And yeah, of course the, the blade will come over. Um, if we want to bring the machine in closer, and this is quite a standard thing on, uh, on most of the high-end panel saws, um, we have a safety zone here. Anything past hit uh, the guard, let's show you. Let's uh, go in here. Let's go in at uh, let's go in at 80 mil. Oops, 80 mil, and then enter. It's not clear. Right, 80 mil, and we press automatic cycle to go through, or the action button. So it's stopping right level with the guard. And now once you click, check the guard is clear, you press the button again. Well, I just press stop, sorry, bear with me. Let's go back to 80 mil, last one you put in. Press again. And what happens, you have to press and hold the button. Let's crawl in. Okay, now we're at 80 mil. Uh, now, sometimes, let's just show you this one. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm running a little bit short on time because of the um, the restraints of putting a, over a 10 minute video on Instagram is a bit of a pain. Um, but for example, if we, let's have a look, where are we now? We're at 80. Uh, if I drop this fence over, one handed, bear in mind. Okay, so now we're close to the blade. There's a sensor in there that knows which position it's in. So now it's asking us if we want 80, which we were previously, we just press this and we're back to 80. 80. So yeah, basically that knows the um, that knows the position of the fence. So let's just drop. It. So yeah, this all this runs on bearings. If you want, if you want this fence out of the way, this doesn't have the automatic drop down. But if you basically push it down out of the way, again, that's hard with one, hard with one hand because it's two hand operation. But I think I did okay. There we go. It's now out of the way. So if you want to cut your counters across, you've got enough clearance from the overhead guard and to get it back up again. But yeah, these are. Such brilliant fences. So none of it's contacting. Um, it all runs off the bearings on the inside. Right, I think we've got a bit of time to show you. Uh, let's show you safe light, which is when we start the machine up. Uh, we start the main blade up. Better driven. So the scribe blade jumps to position uh, when you switch it on and drops down out of the way. Um, let's have a quick look in here. I don't have too much longer before 10 minutes, but basically you can store your tools in here. So the information, you can program and memorize your scribe to here. Perhaps I should do another video with all this on because I'm running out of time. Uh, then we've got the calculations, which are really cool. Different things we can work, different shapes, different angles. Martin have been doing this for years. Uh, many of others have copied, um, but yeah, so hopefully that's an overview, maybe go into a bit more detail, but just trying to sort of appreciate the, you know, the build quality on this machine, it really is a beast. So I hope that's okay, and any more questions, let us know, or go to our website, MW Machinery.